to the February 21st meeting. City, uh, Harrison City Council, if you please rise and join us the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight uh, for this uh, city council meeting once again. And Lord, as we meet, uh, we ask, uh, Lord, for your clarity of mind, and Lord, you might direct our council for the best decisions for our, for our city, uh, give them more good judgment in the matters that need to be discussed. And we thank you, Lord, once again tonight for our police officers and our firefighters. Pray, Lord, you keep them safe as, uh, Lord, they are your public servants and they serve us. We thank you for each one of them. Lord, may you bless with things that goes on here tonight. We thank you, Lord, for our city. I pray, Lord, Lord, you take in the lead and direct our leaders now. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson. Here. Mr. Egner. Here. Mr. Grubbs. Here. Mr. Samuels. Here. Ms. Dole. Here. Mr. Maines. Mrs. Wilson. Here. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to excuse Mr. Maines from the meeting tonight. Second. Roll call to excuse Mr. Maines. Uh, Egner. Yeah. Grubbs. Yeah. Samuels. Yeah. Dole. Yeah. Mrs. Wilson. Yeah. Mr. Wilson. Yeah. First item this evening is approval of the council meeting minutes and executive session summary from February 7th, 2023. So move. Second. Any corrections or additions? Roll call, please. Grubbs. Yay. Samuels. Yay. Dole. Yay. Mrs. Wilson. Yay. Mr. Wilson. Yay. Egner. Abstain. Okay. Uh, Greater, Hammer, Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce could not be here this evening, but they did provide an update, and I'll read that. Um, as the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce prepares to commemorate its 10th anniversary this week, we want to thank the staff and elected officials at the city for their continued support. The city has been an advocate for our unified business community, and we count on representatives to demonstrate that through attending ribbon cuttings and other events that benefit our members. The chamber has grown to nearly 200 members with one mission of promoting growth and prosperity. 70% of our members are small businesses with fewer than 10 employees. We serve them through quality programs, promotional opportunities, and cost-saving benefits through Southern Ohio Chamber Alliance. Our health care plan provides coverage, that's the one that they participate in, to over 95,000 people across Ohio. We invite anyone, individuals, businesses, representatives, and nonprofit leaders to learn more about our mission and upcoming activities. And their website is greaterharrisoncc.com. You can visit that to get more information. And uh, next we have Caitlin with uh, Harrison Branch Library to provide an update. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. So, hello from the library. If you haven't met me before, my name is Caitlin. I am the branch supervisor right now. And right this second, I'm running the ship which is great um, it's not at all stressful um, so we are currently interviewing for a new manager i'm super excited so i'm really hoping that by i know I'm, i believe i'm scheduled to speak at the second city council month or meeting next month i believe we should either know who we have or possibly in place so very excited once we get a new person in place, you guys know I love coming out into the community for everything. Um, so I'm really excited to get to bring our new manager and introduce them and get them started off and running being a vital part of this community. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, we also are deep in tax season. I don't know if you know this, but there are library memes. And one of the first ones is like at the beginning of January, have people started asking for tax forms from us yet? Yep. <laughs> they normally start in December. I don't know how. Um, <laughs> but we are well underway and we get really good at it. We are able to print out any of the forms that you need. Um, at the library, we are printing 20 copies a day for free 
for everybody, yes, you can come every day and print tw out 20 pages. That's, that's what we can do for you. We can also help you do it. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> so we can print out tax forms. We were sent some forms from the state and federal, but you know they send fewer and fewer every year as more and more things go online. So we're there to print out paper copies or give, what, give you what you need. I'm really excited that March 11th, we're also having a tax fair this year. Um, I'm going to read from the description because I don't want to misspeak on tax qualifications. I get to tell people I don't know anything about about them. This is, these are the people who do. <laughs> so uh, if you have questions about your taxes, you can come to our tax fair. You can speak with an attorney, the taxpayer advocate, or a volunteer income tax assistant volunteer on the following topics. Tax questions, locate and print tax transcripts, status of your tax returns, and legal issues connected to your taxes. I'm really excited. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't believe our library has hosted a tax fair like that before, and I'm really excited. It's something that affects everybody, and a lot of us just feel a bit out of our depth. Um, in addition, we do have Shirley back this year uh, through the United Way uh, tax prep situation. So we'll have her all the way through April on Saturdays at the library. You can call the library to make an appointment if you need one. I'm not sure what the availability is. I haven't checked it and it changes fast. So get in there sooner rather than later. All right. The last thing I wanted to say is sometimes we don't update on like technological things. So if you've ever come to use one of our computers, if you have something quick to print off, et cetera, and you're like, oh, these are getting a little slow, we just got all new public PCs. <laughs> so we're super excited. Uh, we did also just get new self-checkouts, and some of those work. So <laughs> we're happy to help you out through that. But the public PCs are amazing. And of course, like, things are getting updated every day, and we're just out here trying to make things work. So. We are super happy to help you. Again, my name is Caitlin. Contact us if you have any questions. Let us know. We're happy to help. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. The next item is a presentation by the American Legion. Mr. Mayor, if you'd go over to the podium, uh, we're going to be giving a check tonight for, uh, for the Harrison Mayor's Fund from the American Legion for $3,529.80. four, Mr. Mayor, one will be coming here to the community center, uh, one will be going to the American Legion, one will be going split between Harrison Junior Baseball and Harrison Youth Football because they're opposite seasons, and then uh, one will be going to the high school to complement the ones they already have because it's such a big campus and they've got so many different things going on at one time. So we're very happy that uh, we were able to get that from uh, Charities Inc. Uh, I'd also like to say that uh, we hope the uh, seniors in high school or their parents contact the counselors because we've increased the number of scholarships we're giving away this year. Uh, we're going to be giving 10 scholarships for $1,000 each. So if you're a senior at Harrison High School and you need some help to going to college, um, go see your counselor and get one of those applications. The, the, the AEDs, that when they get them, uh, we're going to require the, the people to get them to come to a training class that the fire chief is going to have his people put on. And so we'll let them know when that date is, but they will be required to come and be officially trained on those AEDs. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other visitors that would like to speak this evening? Okay. We will move into the business uh, portion. First item is a vote on a resolution approving 
an application for tax exemption within a community reinvestment area for parcel 561-0024-0005-00. This is in relationship to uh, Cincinnati Test Systems and an expansion that they're doing at the property. Motion to approve. Second. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Second. Do we have any discussion on the item? Questions, concerns? Okay. Roll call, please. Samuels. Yay. Dole. Yay. Mrs. Wilson. Yay. Mr. Wilson. Yay. Egner. Yay. Grubbs. Yay. Motion. Resolution 2 of 23. Good. Congratulations on your abatement. Are there any items we need to add to the agenda this evening? Maybe we'll move into reports. Uh, the city has multiple projects going on, and some of the projects, uh, the pricing has increased significantly. So we have challenges now with uh, getting those projects all completed and staying within our budgets. One of those is the West Road overpass, which pricing significantly changed. So we're going to be looking at uh, approximately a $300,000 increase on that project. So council is going to uh, have to discuss this and uh, figure out how to fund it or if we will fund it. If we don't, we will lose the grant funding to the safety improvement here. So um, that's the struggles we're having uh, at the city from the standpoint of keeping up with the pace of inflation. Uh, <coughs> the cost of steel and the cost of concrete have gone significantly up. Uh, anybody that's in those businesses that use those items knows that. And uh, that's the main driver on the cost increase on this project. So I wanted to report that because last week we had a report that that project was going to be occurring soon and it has been rescheduled due to this cost increase. So we do not have a firm date yet on that. Uh, that concludes my report. Uh, Mr. Law Director, do you have a report? Mr. Mayor, Mr. Council, I have no report this evening. Thank you. Mr. Wilson, do you have a report? Yes, Mr. Mayor. We did have a fire committee meeting tonight. Um, there's a lot of equipment that's been donated to the fire department. So if you go to one of the firehouses and you see all this athletic equipment, the city of Harrison did not purchase it. It's a total somewhere around a quarter of a million dollars that a gentleman wants to remain anonymous. They donated it because he feels that the fire department people ought to be in shape and stay in shape. And this is one way they can, they can do that right there at the station. Uh, there was a civil service test uh, uh, given and there was 15 eligible people that passed it and the interviews for those will start February the 27th um, and there'll be three different weeks following uh, that. Uh, they, we do have free uh, CPR training signups for the, uh, that are full. We had 80 people signed up. If we get more people interested, the fire chief said they may uh, extend that and have some other training sessions. Um, personnel update, we only have one person off right now with a bicep injury and they, they should be back by April. Where there was about 50 runs, 22 from uh, Station 56 and uh, 28 from Station 57 for the month of January. And Mr. Mayor, that concludes my report. Thank you. Mr. Agner, do you have a report this evening? Uh, no report. I just wanted to uh, touch on one topic. Uh, I wasn't here at the last meeting, and I know that was a topic of discussion. Um, I did send an email to request... Uh, that uh that i was excused um just i didn't i um i didn't put an excuse on there but you know my wife was uh sick at the house and i was taking care of my kids and my sick wife so if anyone ever has a you know a question as to what you know what i'm doing uh, my phone number's on the website and most of you guys have it so just give me a call and i'll let you know that's all I have. Thanks. Only family comes first. That's why we have a board of seven people to do this job. You're here to not just for the community, but also your family's part of that. Mr. Gross, do you have a report this evening? I did not have any committee reports um, this evening, but I did just want to uh, touch on the Legion's donation uh, for the 13000 to the fire department. Um, like the mayor touched on, absolutely everything we do now uh, seems to be coming in at higher costs. Uh, we have two projects that were bid out, and both of them have come in at 
a higher cost at this time. Uh, but absolutely everything that we do seems to be coming in a lot higher, not just a little bit, <laughs> almost shockingly higher. Uh, this project that we we're talking about more than doubled uh, for the West Road overpass, and our portion is 300 potentially $300,000 um, if we decide to move forward with it. Um, and that's the state picking up an additional million dollars in that. Um, but in regards to the actual AEDs, you know, it's, it's donations like that that allow us uh, to meet the needs of the community. Um, you know, after the DeMar Hamlin incident, uh, it made everyone step back and realize. That's why we have record numbers of people signing up. We've offered um, first aid and CPR for years, and all of a sudden we have this incident happen on national TV and all of our classes for a month are full. Um, so even if you don't get this class, please continue to reach out to the fire department because we will make it possible. But it's donations like this where we don't have AEDs available um, in our community center where we have our senior center, we have people coming in and out all day long. Uh, but because of the Legion, we have the ability uh, to meet that need now. So uh, I thank you uh, personally and um, uh, love seeing that support from you guys day in and day out. So um, with that, that's all I have, sir. Thank you. Mr. Samuel Stewart, report. Uh, Mayor, actually, I do not have a report. I have a couple things I want to cover. Um, just reminders for everyone out there. Um, we did not have a police committee meeting. The chief was not available this evening, so there was no committee meeting. Um, I do want to remind everyone, uh, next Tuesday, we do have a busy slate, at least from the uh, finance side of things. We have our finance committee at 4.30 on February 28th. After that uh, committee meeting, we do have our public work session scheduled um, at 5.30 to discuss the fire levy and possible funding options uh, related to that as that is getting ready to expire. So um, just those two things, and that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Ms. Stoll, do you have a report? Yes, Mayor, I do. Um, we had a district meeting on February 9th, and we finalized the dates for this year for their events. So um, the dates are going to be May 20th for the food truck rally, July 8th for Music on the Avenue, September 9th for the Taste of Harrison, September 23rd for Ladies Night on the Avenue, and then October 28th for Halloween on the Avenue. And that's just the district's um, events, so then the rec events are separate as well. Um, and then last Thursday we had the ribbon cutting for uh, Co Mission Collaborative, which is a co-working space here in Harrison. Um, they also have private office space available as well, so if you know anybody that's working from home or in need of office space, have them check them out. And also congrats to Austin Mathis and Kim and all of their team. Our next IT meeting will be on Tuesday, March 7th at 5.15 p.m. And the next district meeting will be on March 9th. That's all I have. Thank you. Mrs. Wilson, do you have a report? I do, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I'd first like to report on the police uh, negotiations. We have come to a tentative agreement um, with the uh, police union. And once the uh, details are finalized, uh, we'll be giving a full report on that. On recreation, um, Easter, our Easter program will be on April the 8th, uh, starting with 8 a.m. with a breakfast by the Boy Scouts. 9 a.m. will start the games, and 11 a.m. will be the Easter egg hunt. Summer fun will run June the 13th through July the 27th, Tuesday through Thursdays, 9, <coughs> 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Uh, we have our concerts set, and we have an all-star lineup. On June the 13th, we'll start with 90 Proof Twang. On June the 27th, it'll be The Menus. July the 18th will be Black Bone Cat. And <clears throat> in August will be The Naked Karate Girls. We're also planning our July the 4th. Uh, currently, our Grand Marshal um, is set with uh, former mayor and council member Archie Mason. Uh, we're still working out details for bands and other things for July the 4th, but should have that report at our next 
should have those things finalized at our next meeting and our next meeting will be March the 8th of 2023 at 7 p.m. Uh, the Veterans Committee I would like to report that the Harrison VFW on Lawrenceburg Road and the American Legion on Campbell Road will both be starting their fish fries this Friday March the 24th I mean February the 24th through April the 7th that's all I have mayor thank you uh, the Qantas will also have their fish fry the same <laughs> Friday evenings uh, all of them are great I've tried all of them in the past uh, patronize the one that you'd like and if you have the opportunity to patronize all of them all that money goes back into the community all three organizations support the community tremendously do we have a motion to adjourn motion to adjourn Roll call. Dole. Yay. Mrs. Wilson. Yay. Mr. Wilson. Yay. Agner. Yay. Grubbs. Yay. Samuels. Yay. Stand adjourned. Thank you.